In this video, we're going to show you how to perform a relaxing massage for dogs. Let's get started. Massages for our animals not only helps to strengthen our bond, but it helps to remove stress and anxiety. Massage also improves blood flow and their lymphatic circulation. It can help restore muscle elasticity and relieve pain by releasing endorphins. In puppies, it improves brain development as well as their immune system. There are some cases when dog massages are not recommended. These include dogs with a fever, tumor, or an open wound. It may also need to be avoided with lame dogs or those with heart, liver, or kidney problems. Before starting, we must remove rings, watches, and bracelets to avoid damaging and distracting our dog. We also advise removing the harness or collar from our dog so they don't get in the way. Ideally, we can massage in a quiet room or in a garden where the dog is relaxed, calm, and comfortable. Either have no noise or put on some relaxing music. It is best to place the animal on a mat and do it on the floor. The dog can start standing and then relax until they lie down. After we had many sessions, the dog will wait for us lying down, anticipating their massage. Our state of mind is very important. Since dogs are very perceptive animals, we must be calm. So if we have a bad day, it's better not to do the massage. We will start the massage by being next to the animal, allowing them to see us, smell us, and accept us. We will place a hand on their back without moving it. And when we see their reaction is receptive, we may begin. We start by moving our hands in smooth sliding movements. We begin with the head, using some superficial caresses, making circular movements at the base of their ears. We will continue along the neck in the same direction as their hair growth. These movements will be lengthening from the neck to tail. They must be long movements to achieve the relaxing effect of the massage. This is why the rhythm we have needs to be slow and the pressure soft and superficial. We must always maintain contact with the animal's skin. When we slide one hand to the end, we gently lift it and start the next movement again with the other hand, always maintaining contact. We will work the hip area with the same movement, but take special care with animals that have hip dysplasia or older animals with osteoarthritis. These movements provide the animal with a feeling of well-being and muscular relaxation since we stimulate small nerve endings. To achieve this relaxing effect, we must make smooth, constant movements without making any sudden motions. In the hip area, we can place the palm of our hand with our fingers together and make circular movements in this way. We can lift the tail at its base and make small movements in circles on both sides. For example, five on the right and five on the left. Then we will go to the forelimbs and make the same movement from the proximal area to the distal, meaning from the shoulder to the tips of the paws in the same direction of hair growth.
we must not forget the backside. We will also perform these superficial caresses in the direction of Venus return towards the heart. We will slide towards the hind limbs from the hip through the knee, ankle and to the tips of the paws. We do both front and back facing sides. From the paws up. If we find any area with more tension, we can use the digital kneading technique. We gently lift the tissue as if we were pinching it and slide our hands as if we were kneading bread. And we release and repeat the movements. We can make circles with the knuckles of our hands or with pads of the fingers. We will start working with gentle pressure and we will increase little by little as they relax. To finish the massage, we'll perform the stroking technique, which is a more rhythmic movement using more speed. It's very smooth without much pressure in the same direction of hair growth and without losing contact with the animal. To work the extremities on the other side, we would have to lift them up, lie them down on the other side and start the whole process. Do not turn them while lying with their belly up because we could risk gastric torsion. With this massage, we will be able to relax their muscles, increase their flexibility of soft tissues, reduce pain, increase blood circulation and also improve the general state of health of the animal. This massage should last 10 to 15 minutes and you can do it once a week to improve the life of your best friend. This is our video for today. Let us know how you get on in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video.